Hey, welcome back to the shop and thanks for watching. I'm Jim Langley and I've got a new product to show you today that I'm pretty excited about. Although I don't know how many people out there would like to spend $30 for a bicycle tube. <music> I say tube, what I'm talking about is an inner tube for a bicycle tire. A brand new tube from the company Schwalbe. Actually they've been working on it for five years in conjunction with the company BASF in Germany. I've been eager to get one of these tubes because when I ride my mountain bike with my 2 er tube stuck stuffed in my back pocket because I don't like to carry a pack on my back. It's a pretty massive tube, takes up a lot of space and it's a lot of weight in my pocket. Schwalbe's new tube is significantly smaller and lighter. I'm going to show it to you but I wanted to show you some other tubes that we have today. So that's a pretty standard butyl tube. Here's a another butyl tube, a road tube. This is a latex tube. You can see it's significantly smaller and it's lighter too. We'll, we'll weigh them, but I could tell you it's lighter too. So let's weigh some tubes. We'll start with the latex tube. For a long time, going back to the 60s, maybe even the 50s, um, latex has been considered uh, the ultimate ride. It's more supple than butyl, or a lot of riders feel that way. So you feel more performance, more grippiness, and a nicer ride with the latex tube. That's why it's in sew-up tires. So this latex tube here weighs 69 grams. Um, there's different types of latex tubes. Sometimes you see them in tan. But anyway, this is a green one. And you can see the weight. The uh, disadvantage of the latex tube, of course, is that it loses air more rapidly than a butyl tube. So a butyl tube um, is going to hold air. Latex, you usually need to pump up every couple of days. So this is a pretty narrow, small butyl tube. So we'll put the butyl tube on there. So 98 grams. So about 30 grams heavier. So now let's try that big giant 2 er tube. Two hundred and forty six grams. The weight isn't that big an issue. You can, you know, you're riding a mountain bike, full suspension mountain bike, but the size is an issue. And you do feel it when you're climbing, banging around on your back. Okay, so let's open this package I got from Schwalbe and take a look at these tubes. That's a pretty small box, but not as small as the tubes inside. So there's a tube. That's another one the same size. I bought two tubes for my road bike and I bought one tube for my mountain bike. Here's the mountain bike tube. So look at that. There's your butyl tube. There's your mountain bike tube in that box. So you can see already they're smaller. You can see right on the package it says the mountain bike tube is 87 grams, the road bike tube is 41 grams. So already we're talking uh, significantly lighter. Schwalbe says they're 40% uh, lighter than a comparable Schwalbe extra light tube. They also say that their puncture protection is completely beyond anything they've made before. And they're extremely heat resistant which is great for uh, braking surfaces. So now I'm going to open the boxes and show you what's inside because it's pretty cool. So we'll look at the big one first, the 2 er Look at that. Aerothan tube from Schwalbe. Unlike anything I've seen before, what well, sort of a translucent plastic material. They worked on this with BA BASF, which is a materials company. You might remember them from the tapes we used to listen to in our tape decks. So that's the mountain bike tube. 
Look at the difference. Something else. Let's open up and look at the road tube. Look at that tiny little thing. Compare that to this. Or the latex. You wouldn't even know that was in your back pocket. Same thing with this guy. So let's see how the Schwalbe Arathan tubes do. This is the 2.9er tube, has a rubber band on it, but that can't weigh that much. So there you go. They said 87, we're getting 95. Pretty close to what they said. We could try it without the rubber band, see if it falls apart. Let's try. 94, saved us a gram. So let's try the road tube. Same rubber band, so we'll subtract a gram. 46 grams. They said 41 grams, so 45 grams, so they're close. Let's open this road tube up and put a little air into it and take a good look at it. Pretty interesting material. Also look at that, the valve stem. It's definitely not metal, looks like a, a plastic material. That's very interesting. Look at its, there's the seam. That's pretty resistant. You can almost, you can almost see right through it. nothing to it. Walby worked with BASF to come up with a new material for their Arathon tubes. They call it Elastolan, and it's a TPU, which stands for Thermoplastic Polyurethane. According to Schwalbe, Schwalbe's Arathon tube is manufactured in a blow film extrusion process, first into an endless tube, which is then cut to length and welded together using a high precision laser. The Arathan tubes are more resistant to things like glass and wire punctures, and they're also better against pinch flats. Plus, they're designed, if you do puncture, to not suffer from sudden air loss. And regular butyl tubes and latex tubes can be affected by heat buildup in the rim from uh, rim breaking, long rim breaking. The Schwalbe Arathon tubes were tested at temperatures of more than 150 Celsius at 78 kilometers per hour and held up fine. While in their rolling resistance tests, the Arathon tubes match the performance of latex tubes. Let's see what it's like to put the Arathon tube in a tire. I've been running one of Schwalbe's least expensive tires for years and really like it. It's the Lugano folding bead version. The wheel here is a 40 millimeter deep carbon tubeless ready by ICANN Cycling.
The pump I'm using here is a Silka Super Pista Digital Floor Pump. Now one of the best features of this pump is that it has a side lock chuck. It's called the Silka Hero Chuck or Pump Head. And that'll hold on to just about any valve, which is important with this, with this tube. Because the valve is only 40 millimeters long and the rim is 40 millimeters wide. So only have a few millimeters of valve to hold on to. But this Hero head can hold on to just about any valve leak free. I'm being very careful with the valve because it's just a little bit longer than the rim is wide. So I don't want it to get stuck up inside the rim and I want it to be straight and I want it to be sticking out far enough so that I can get the pump on it. If you had a pump that wouldn't provide an airtight seal to the valve this short, what you'd do is you'd use a valve extender, a little piece that you screw on the valve. The Arathon tube goes in nice and easy, just like a regular tube, no problem at all. So back to what I said in the beginning, I don't really know how many people are going to want to buy a tube for $30. Not sure if that price point is acceptable or not. You know, I don't, I don't mind buying the tube, a uh, one tube to use because it's uh, going to solve a problem for me. And I'm going to ride the road tubes and see how they ride. If they ride as nice latex tubes, if it improves the performance, if it resists flats, if you don't have to pump them up as frequently as latex tubes. Those are all really great things. Uh, you don't need to use sealant. Sealant's sort of a hassle uh, if you go with tubeless tires. One thing I noticed is that if you have a pump that threads onto the valve, the Schwalbe valve cores and these composite Schwalbe Presta valves can tend to unscrew when you take the pump off and you lose all your air. The cores don't seem to stay put like with traditional brass or alloy Presta valves, so you have to be careful with that. If you're thinking about it or have seen these tubes uh, or other ultralight tubes and you've used them and you have some experience, uh, please post a comment, share what you know, it'll help everybody out. Um, I've installed two of the mountain bike tubes so far. The mountain bike tubes definitely hold air longer than a latex mountain bike tube. And uh, you know, on the, you're, you have to add air about every two weeks versus every day or even uh, more with some latex tubes. Um, and the ride quality is nice. It does, you, you know, you, it's kind of hard to put a, uh, it's more so subjective, but I feel like the tires ride a little more supply than a butyl tube definitely lighter you feel that you always feel a weight difference when you switch something out which is so heavy uh, like that tube the 2.9er tube is way heavier in butyl than in this new Arathon tube from Schwalbe so it's a very interesting new product to me even if it is a high price point thanks for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one